Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. It is Sunday late afternoon and that's all the stuff I got packed from the last video. Uh, I'm gonna bag that up and get it out of the way because we we're gonna need some room. Um, I'm bringing some more stuff in the list today. And I packed, I took, this ice chest was in the, the storage unit of stuff that I bought and I, I was thinking uh, maybe I could throw this up local. Somebody might want it or whatever. Uh, but I started looking at eBay. I'm like, well, let me look it up on eBay real quick. Because it is Gatorade. People kind of like Gatorade. Uh, and, yeah, there's... I don't see the exact one. But Gatorade ice chests are a thing on eBay. So maybe I can get somewhere between $40 and $60 for that one. Uh, I mean, it's not a big deal to ship that. This is, that's not it. Let me see, what's the other side look like? G Series. Okay. I think mine may, may be a little more modern. And it's in really good shape. It doesn't look like, I don't see my exact Gatorade ice. Oh, wait, here it is right here. Vintage Retro. Vintage Retro? That's not retro. Come on. Really? They're trying to get 40 bucks for it. Use condition. It's the same thing. Okay, cool. So that'll be a listing. <laughs> that'll be a listing. This one's in really good shape. Um, I don't think it's been used much except for by me to bring some goodies home. <laughs> but it's a, it's a nice ice chest. So... Yeah, I'll be able to list this. That's good. So the container will be like 40, 40, 50 bucks, whatever. Let's take a look in here. I, I glanced at some of the stuff, but I haven't really looked that closely at all of it. And I do have more, more in the truck too, behind that, behind this. Uh, I got some tap handles, Milwaukee's Best, Miller Beer. That's a nice one. And another Miller beer tap handle. So that might be a, a lot kind of thing. Also in there. It's a nice little. Whoops. Nice little buck knife. Buck Whitaker. Little. Little short blade. Be a nice little thing to put on. And it's got a bottle opener type thing. That's actually pretty cool. Am I going to keep it? Hell no. I'm going to sell it. <laughs> to steal from uh, Justin over at RDA Flips. It's got paperwork and stuff in there. It'll be a good little, good little listing to get me closer to my 20. So I see, I see two easy listers so far. I'm all about that easy listing. Uh, this is, he actually had a uh, WDCC, which if y'all been watching for a while, y'all know I love these things. Magician Mickey, on with the show, 1997 membership sculpture. Okay. Walt Disney Cla uh, Classics Collection. I'm not sure what that one is worth. We'll find out later, though. Uh, a couple of watches. These are cheap watches. That's a Boba Fett. And that is a Vader. Those may be cheap enough to where I even want to just lock those two together. But we'll see. Here's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure from... Looking for a date. And then we'll see what it is. Uh, oh, 2008. So this is recent. This is not vintage. Um... Donatello Weapon Bow Staff. This doesn't look like much money, but we'll find out. Uh, looks like we have a bag of, looks like we got a bag of stuff here. Now, what is this? Herself the Elf and Friends. A bracelet and elf charm. Never heard of that. Tough Ones, die cast metal. How old is that? 
It doesn't look super old. Let's see. Remco, 1996. That's vintage. It's 24 years old. By definition, it's a vintage. It doesn't look vintage, though, does it? Uh, this is a Disney Infinity 3.0 Darth Vader. That's probably probably not much going on there. Uh, I've got some games in here. Or I've got a game. Final Fantasy X2 for PlayStation 2. Some type of doll here. What is this? Who is this? I don't know. I don't know who that is. I can use my Google Lens in a little bit, though. Uh, there's an Elvis tape. Here is Star Wars Rogue One fig. This is a 101 Dalmatians sealed. Brand new sealed. It is. I don't believe this is a black diamond, unfortunately. It's a joke. Uh, let's see what else. Amazing Spider Man sealed. Oh, check this out. This is kind of cool. Um, I've got two different. Single walkie talkies, a Starsky and Hutch, and official rookies. Mm, I don't know. There might, may not be much value there. Okay, and then I have some NES games in this load. Anything good here? Athletic World, World Cra Class Track Meet. I've never had Athletic World before. Real clean looking games, though, I'll tell you that. Commando. These are very clean. Labels are nice. 3D World Runner. I've never had that one either. Not that I'm an expert on this stuff. Super Team Games. Never heard of that. Rad Racer. I've had that a bunch. Again, this is a nice clean copy, it looks like. And I've got a few sleeves in there, too. That's good. Double Dribble, a nice clean copy of that, too. These labels are nice. So, uh, yeah, let me work through this stuff. And I'm going to have this listing, too. So I might be able to make 20 listings just off of what you see right here. All right, I'm back out here uh, processing some more stuff. And I did a Google Lens search on this and did not find anything. I'm assuming it's a Barbie. Does anyone offhand recognize this Barbie? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until uh, I hear back. I'll just like set it in one of my cubbies for now and wait and see if anyone has seen that one before. Now I'm just going to list this ice chest and then I'll grab some more stuff. All right, I brought another ice chest in from the truck. And yes, this one's loaded also. Uh, this one's even got a... Um, no. Oh, you must power it with USB, maybe because it has N, so it must be USB powered. Okay, huh? That's interesting. I'll have to check that out later. I mean, I'm gonna end up selling this one way or the other, whether it be local. It's got like a den or two on it, it's not perfect, but it's pretty cool sure somebody is going to want it. I, I searched for it the other day and I didn't see one on eBay, but I didn't look very hard. So uh, anyways, it is also packed with goodies, of course, which we're going to go through. This is a Yoda. Look at the, I didn't know he had hair like that. <laughs> this is a Yoda puppet. Uh, what does that say? Lucasfilm. 1981 is what it says on the back of his neck. I have never seen this before. So, you can kind of, I don't know how much you're supposed to be able to do here. Maybe just nod his head or, like when he's sad or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a horrible actor, singer, actor type person. But anyways, that might be valuable. Um... Yeah, there's something to 
you use Google Lens on. Okay, this is a complete, I, I believe it is anyway, a complete uh, G.I. Joe Cobra anti armor uh, scrap iron. Okay. It's got the card and everything with him. And looks like he's in pretty good shape, too. Is that? I'm assuming that's from the 80s. But I don't know. I haven't looked at it really too hard yet. Is this another G.I. Joe guy? There's maybe not. I don't know. He's got like a blaster. Like some kind of case back there. Looks like another fairly valuable one. That looks like a Han Solo. This is a guy. <laughs> yeah, I've got... Okay, here's another... Uh, another fig with accessories. Boy, the accessories make all the difference in the world. You start looking up prices for... Uh, oh, what did he tell me this was? Something not... Oh, man. I'll remember in a minute. I'll remember in a minute. Who is this guy? Don't know, but he's got accessories too. So I'm going to be listing some more action figs, which I don't mind doing that. Oh, is this a, uh, this is an old Transformers. It looks like a Walkman. That's kind of cool. Didn't even know that was in there. We can have some old, old perfume stick. Oh, it goes in here. This goes on here. Okay. Um, he also sold me some stuff today that he had just picked up at, at a uh, at an estate sale, but not this stuff right here. Okay, here's uh, this is more GI Joe. This is Mutt. How many things I got out here now? I need. 10 things. I've got one, two, three, four. I don't know if I can list this or not. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So okay, so I'm already past the point I need to be. But this stuff here, this is all brand new uh security, car security or car alarm stuff. Um sidewinder, and it's got some kind of harness here. A remote start. Uh, there's some uh, dominoes. That's all stuff that he sold me today, along with some video game stuff, which I didn't even know I was going to run into him today, <laughs> and I did. Uh, effective vehicle security component. So hopefully there's still a market for that stuff. Hopefully it's not antiquated or outdated or something. Uh, this is a Hobbit. Now, so far, everything that has been wrapped in bubble wrap has been pretty decent. So let's see if that trend continues. I know some of this Hobbit stuff can be pretty decent. This is an Azog figure. Looks like the card's in pretty good shape too. No major, no major issues or anything with it. Okay, this might be pretty decent. All right, that'll be another easy lister. And then under that, Ah, uh, a bunch of cards. <laughs> these are going to be fun. I'll, I am probably going to list some of these cards because they're kind of cool. Um, this is a Billy Williams autograph, authentic autograph. The card is not graded, but this is a Beckett authentic autograph case. And, a, you know, they, they clam sheltered or whatever the heck you call that. There's some, there's a few other ones. I haven't really looked through these cards um, might do that on a, might do that some other time. There was, okay, yeah, here's an, another couple of cards in these cases. Congratulations. This car bears an authentic cut signature. Okay, of, by who? Oh, really? Zeppo Marks. Look at that. It's on a check. Or something. Yeah, it's on a check. Zeppo Marks. They, they cut that off of a check. And then this is a Beckett uh, authenticated thing. That That is... I never know what I'm going to find in these boxes. But that is up there. 
it's funny i've actually been watching um a little i didn't really know that much about groucho marx because he was way ahead of my time but uh i've actually been watching a little bit of his his show that he used to have all right what is this now we have a bobby clark psa dna certified He played, oh, he played this character on Star Trek. And that is his autograph. <laughs> okay, these are fun. Those are fun. I like kind of the oddball, oddball stuff like that. I had a, there might be some more fun stuff in here. Hologram, or it might be some boring stuff. I don't know for sure. Hmm. You know what? We might just say, what, what is this? This is a weird looking little box here. Um, those are Kojak playing cards in a little case. What is this? Looks like some kind of Star Trek. Uh, on the home world, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Klingon. Yeah, that's some Star Trek cards. Maybe they'll have... Maybe they'll have some cool inserts and stuff. Some more signatures, I'm hoping. Something like that. Top's finest. Okay. Yeah, these are... There's a Mecha Godzilla. Bond villains, 007. There's a Mr. Potato Head. I mean, this is so random. Toy Story card. This might be a fun little, fun little lot for me to put together. See if there's anything like really, else really crazy in here. There's somebody holding a Coca-Cola. All right. Keep in mind, I know that most of these, oh, this is cool. Look at this. This had a $50 price tag on it at some point. Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan. So that's like early 80s, right? 1982. These, this is a deck of playing cards. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> that's really neat. I like that. Here is collection 33 trading peanuts. Collection 33 trading, trading card set. It's like the last date they have on there is 65. I don't know if this is from 65 though. Um, Warrior Nun leather card set. Hmm. This, some of that kind of stuff could be kind of pricey or it could be nothing. I just don't know yet. You never know. These are Christopher Columbus cards. That might be, that market may be down. Oh, okay, this is what I was kind of looking for. And then we'll go, I promise, we'll go, through, if you're into the cards and stuff, um, at some point I'll go through all those, or most of them anyways. This is Leonard Fournette. Game Day Signatures. Okay, 2018 Panini. Autograph is guaranteed by Panini. Yeah, okay. That might have a little value. I mean, he hasn't been playing all that great. But the card market is crazy, and he's on a popular team. Whether they're great, a great team or not is something else, but they are a popular team, if nothing else. So, yeah, uh, this will be... From what I've pulled out of here so far, I've got easy path to 20 listings, which, to be honest, I was kind of looking for that. So let me get to 20 and then I'm going to pull some more orders. Um, I've got my other stuff right here that I pulled last night. I'm going to pull at least 10 more whenever I come back and uh, we'll update the momentum board and all that fun stuff. Every day it's like a, a, I'm enjoying myself, but it's starting to become a Groundhog Day thing around here. I thought some of y'all might appreciate this. Remember Dragon's Lair? Well, this is 
Dragon's Lair Rub Off Game by Magicom in 1983. Should we do it? Y'all will scream at me if I do that again. It's by Fleer. It's just a game, though. It's not like a, you know, you don't win any like crazy prizes or anything. It's kind of cool. Might not be valuable, but it's cool. Time to log in on the old momentum board. How many of y'all have been doing momentum boards? How's it working out? It always works out for me. Sales wise, it always has 460. Okay. But it's also, there is a cost. <laughs> there is a cost. It, and if I, I, be honest, if I wasn't doing YouTube, this would not be that big of a deal. Um, just doing 20 listings a day, I don't think would be a big deal to me. Um, YouTube, YouTube adds a little pressure in a good way. I enjoy YouTube, so it's a good thing. But, uh, all right, I got stuff kind of in my way. Need to need to move this thing out of the way. Put it somewhere. I don't really have anywhere to put it right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put it on the end like this. And we'll get it. We'll get it out of here tomorrow. And I'm going to pack, uh, like I said earlier, I'm going to pack like 10 things. And I might even pick 10 easy things because if I pack 10 or so, uh, I won't have a ton left for tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pull some orders. Okay, first order is for 60 Pittsburgh Pirates stickers. So I sold all of the stickers that I listed. All that I have left from that little box are these uh, Super Bowl scratch off game things. And if I don't sell them after a while, I'm going to scratch them and see if I would have won a ticket to the 1995 Super Bowl. So, yeah, a uh, stack of Pirates, Pittsburgh Pirates stickers for $20 plus shipping on top. James bought two Nightwing figures, two 12-inch Nightwing figures from the Sarah shelf. Um, oh, over here. Except I moved them, I think. Yes, I just moved this box over here because I had a nice little hole. And I think this is gonna be the two Nightwing figures in here already bubble wrapped. Had these listed for a little while, I think. Let's see, yep, these are them. They're in here. $24.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, James. Do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the figs. All right, I sold one of these Elkhorns. I'm not sure which. I was dumb and didn't label them. I have two of them, so I'm going to have to pull them out and see which one matches the wear from the photo on eBay. Okay, I got lucky. The first one I looked at was the one. I just had to go in real tight on this photo and find if you have like the corners and stuff like that. Also, there's like a little crack on the plastic there. All that was disclosed in the listing. But uh, these things, packaging has some wear. The plastic cracked a little on the packaging. Also, please see photos. Yeah. So these things are pretty rare though. I got a $99.99 plus shipping on top for this guy can't believe it but i sold i must have sold this before the football game yesterday because <laughs> they they are just the lsu football team i i know they had huge turnover of players i, I understand that but the, these guys the team is just it's really it's really hard to watch it's pathetic I'm trying to find the best one here yeah this one's pretty good sunday morning quarterback that's just a little poster thing from the 80s. Said it a bunch of times already. I bought that whole stack for five bucks at a garage sale probably about two years ago. And they slowly trickle out. And every time I sell one, it's enough to make profit on the whole deal <laughs> every time. 
So I've sold, let me look at the listing now. I think that's 23 that I've sold. Yes, I've sold 23 now. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be 60 years old by the time I sell them all, but it'll be a nice profit. Um, also sold a Clash of the Titans board game. This is something I just listed recently. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was going to be good too. This guy right here. Box has some wear, but the board and all the pieces and everything, everything inside is really nice condition. So, what I get for that, I got $49.99 plus shipping on top. That's pretty good for a board game. But anytime I see a board game and it's got like dragons and warriors and stuff like that on it, it's gonna be pretty decent. All right, time to pull some more. I got those packed. Uh, Michelle bought this big Bible right here. Slide it out of there without hurting anybody else. On top, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this is a 1976 Bicentennial edition. Everything in 76 was Bicentennial, right? Um, and it's brand new, sealed. See the bookmark there? That's pretty cool when stuff that old is still sealed, huh? But uh, yeah, Michelle got this for $24.99 plus shipping on top. Thank you very much, Michelle. I do appreciate the business. Rachel, uh, she bought two things. She bought something for her son and then something for her friend. And she's having me send the gift for her friend directly to her friend. And she bought for her friend off the Pop B shelf. <laughs> Passed it. Off the Pop B shelf, she bought Todd. <laughs> Barbie and Ken doll's handsome friend. He's in uh, wedding attire, by the way. So, um, Rachel, I hope your friend likes the gift. Thank you very much. And then she also bought, uh, well, from that bookshelf I just went to, she bought The Legend of Drizzt. Omnibus, this book right here, it's under here, and this book is, uh, it's basically in new condition, like I could tell by looking at the spine, just looking inside, it's never been read, so hopefully he likes this, thank you very much Rachel, and uh, I hope they both like their gifts, thank you. Chris bought... I might be able to guess what Chris bought. Chris bought the Joe Perry autograph that says, To Chris. <laughs> Joe Perry. So, Chris uh, can say that he was at this, that he met Joe Perry and he signed this and he can make up an elaborate story surrounding the meeting and what happened after that. Now, he ended up hanging out all day and night with Joe Perry and they partied and flew to somewhere and did some crazy stuff and can make up a whole story based on this right here so thank you very much chris i appreciate it also uh had another i had another viewer message me later and they said uh hey are you gonna list that thing my girlfriend chris is a big aerosmith fan i'm like sorry another chris already got it so there was not one but a couple of chris's that uh this could have applied to Okay, let's do, I'm going to do one more this round. I might do a few more because I had a few more orders still left to go than I thought I did. I'm going to the tub. All right, got this out of the tub. This is the Darth Vader Severed Limbs figure. <laughs> uh, number nine out of 30. This auction went crazy. Went really good. Uh, this ended up going for... $81 plus shipping on top. And this is going out to, and excuse me if I don't say it right, Brawlio. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Brawlio uh, from the eBay store Garage Toys and Collectibles. So thank you very much, Brawlio, uh, for the business. And I hope you like your super rare figure. Okay, I've got 18 more to go out on the main account. So I'm going to pull just a few more 
because I'm, I'm just kind of in the groove and I feel like whatever I get done tonight I don't have to do tomorrow and yeah just wanted to get a little more done uh, leech is going out sold leech for $9.99 plus shipping on top uh, masters of the universe figure sold mouse guard it's a book back here this guy right here sold him for I think $8.99 plus shipping on top this is going out to Brian Brian thank you so much for watching the channel and I hope you enjoy the book Paul bought several figures he bought some battle beasts which are supposed to be in the plastic tub over here Ah, they're right here. I went right to them. That couldn't have been much easier. And then he also bought... What was the other thing? Mask Miles Mayhem. From Small's Drawer. Okay. This little dude right here. So, four pretty small figs. Uh, I'll be able to put them in a small box. Thank you very much, Paul. Appreciate it, and uh, hope you enjoy. Bugs Bunny talking alarm clock from this shelf right here. This guy, pretty good cosmetic shape. Horrible working condition. It doesn't work at all. Clock doesn't work. Uh, the talking alarm doesn't work. None of it works. So I sold it as is. Got $24.99 plus shipping on top for that. Then Dustin bought A Team Hannibal, John Hannibal Smith, and Face Man. That's the guy that I said had the great hair, like mine. <laughs> I know mine looks crazy right now. <laughs> it always looks kind of crazy, probably. Uh, let's see where this guy's at. There'll be two of them in one baggie, and they're supposedly in here here they are okay uh this sold for was it about i think it might have been about 10 bucks let me see yeah 10.99 plus shipping on top so thank you very much dustin and i'll do i'm gonna do one more tonight and i'll leave all the rest of them for tomorrow um uh, Sold a and sold a vintage aquarium toy. This could be right over here. Wait, uh, here. There we go. Mid A shelf. There we go. Uh, this little guy sold really good money. Um, twenty nine. Yeah, twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping on top. That's really good for this, right? <laughs> Like, it's a little plastic, uh, but it is a cool toy. It's a little flying saucer thing. So, anyways, that is going to be it for this vid. I've got that stuff packed. I've got three more to do tonight. Got that bag down there. I got my 20 listings done. And uh, I'll see y'all again for a little more time on the eBay treadmill <laughs> tomorrow. So, take care, guys. Thanks again for watching. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.